I'm Peter Okwache. Welcome back. Let's talk about cat now. And no, not the animal, but this. It's the leafy plant that's used as a stimulant drug. A diplomatic dispute between Kenya and Somalia is threatening to paralyze the cat or mirror business in Kenya. The country's cat farmers and traders have been posting losses since March when the Somali government banned imports from Kenya. The BBC's Ferdinand Omondi has more from Meru in Kenya. For decades, Mary has depended on her cat farm to survive. But six years ago, the United Kingdom outlawed cat and its importation, leaving only Somalia as an importer. And in March, Somalia too banned the importation of Mira, citing containment of COVID-19. Like thousands of farmers, Mary is now very desperate. We would make between $1,000 and $5,000. That is what we used to spend. Now I can't even make $1. Mira, as it is called here in Meru, eastern Kenya, is the lifeblood of the economy. The country's Mira Traders Association says farmers would export about 50 tons of Mira daily to Somalia, fetching at least $14,000. Without this market, the farmers scramble for Kenya's domestic consumers market, which takes only a fraction of what they can produce. The rest goes to waste. This is one of the sheds where cut farmers usually bring their produce for sorting and packaging ready for export. On a busy day, I'm told there would be hundreds of traders coming here in and out the whole day. But since the ban, well... Without the Somali market, the farmers say they are staring at poverty. It is very frightening, very frightening to have no market in Somalia. Let the leadership of the two countries match to sort out this diplomatic problem. Somalia accuses Kenya of being unfair diplomatically and business-wise and has set tough conditions to level the terms before allowing cut back on its market. The Somali government wants Kenya to stop interfering in its internal affairs, violating its airspace and allow goods from Somalia like sugar, milk and honey. Kenya denies interfering in Somalia's affairs and is negotiating on fair trade. I was with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and informed me that uh, memorandum is being developed between Kenya and uh, Somalia, you know, they're covering various items of trade between uh, Somalia and Kenya, and Mira is one of those items. Until the two countries are friends again, the future is bleak for farmers of Mira. Ferdinand Nomondi, BBC, Meru, Kenya. You're watching BBC Focus on Africa.